Hello gentle people, thank you for joining me again and today I am talking about uh, books still. I love books. So the most recent uh, book I received was, doo -doo -doo -doo, it's the Spoon Flower Handbook and let me put it close so you can get a nice look at it. It has over 30 different projects and if you don't know what Spoon Flower is, let me tell you, Spoonflower is a company that does print on demand, fabric, uh, wallpaper, and gift wrap. So before, if you wanted to make fabric, basically design any kind of textiles, it was this very complicated process with rolling bins and strike-offs and anyway it was just not for the regular consumer and uh, Stephen Fraser who is the guy who started the company his wife Kim uh, put the idea planted the seed in his head um, because she wanted to make some curtains and she just couldn't find the kind of fabric that she wanted to so the company basically started from that little idea that little gem um, of a seed that germinated and now we have the opportunity just as regular consumers to go to spoonflower.com to order print on demand fabric so whatever image you upload onto spoonflower uh, they'll actually print it out for you and send it to you and the first thing obviously to do is go to Spoonflower and set up an account it's absolutely free and I would definitely recommend getting the book because it can be a little bit intimidating and I'm telling you this coming from personal experience I grew up with a mother who is uh, what you call a seamstress here in America um, in Jamaica uh, we use the term dressmaker right but my mother can sew absolutely anything she's like ridiculously brilliant with the sewing skills so I've been around fabric my entire life and being in a fabric store is like being at home to me um, is the most absolutely amazing thing so to be able to to take your own ideas and to translate it onto fabric onto gift wrapped onto wallpaper with the help of spoon flower is absolutely amazing because basically whatever it is that you can think of in your head um, spoon flower can bring that idea to reality so um, they have some it's, it's very nice it's super nice paper and um, they have some really nice images in there and this is one of the ones that are marked it's like a luggage tag isn't that pretty and you can put your own ideas come up with your own luggage tags they have ideas for making pillowcases inside here and um, tea towels and little stuffed toys and you know uh, handkerchiefs and pouches but just very 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 cool so to kind of explain how the book is structured and there's an explanation um, on that from page 20 to 21 so the first part of the book talks about how to use it and then they talk next about the different kinds of surface because the whole objective is surface pattern design so um, something that might work on like a, a rougher textured fabric might not necessarily work on paper so you have to kind of take into consideration um, the surface that you want to put your design on they talk about digital in here so that the kicker right and you know for the past couple of months um, with the help of my sweet precious son I've been learning how to use Photoshop and Illustrator and um, it's a way to take the art that you've created say you like to work by hand and basically transform it digitally send that off the spoon flower and get your stuff printed uh, they talk about color in here a lot too repeats which is like critical so um, they break down the whole complexity of repeat patterns and I love the way the book is structured because if you are already experienced in creating fabric you can just kind of dive right in and go straight to the different projects or if you're brand new somebody who has like no understanding but wants to to express their creativity in this way then everything is broken down for you in this book so they also talk about designing with found objects and photographs and how to kind of incorporate drawings and, and and paintings and words and text and everything into the fabric that you're making so it's a very 
a thick book is 200 and something pages but it is 200 and something pages of good solid learning all right this is the back cover right here um, with some of pictures of the projects and in the book they have um, a lot of the artists who actually have their designs available on spoon flower so that's one of the really cool things too because they have like a design contest um, I haven't been brave enough to enter it yet but um, they have these regular contests with these cool themes and you basically can enter the designs that you come up with um, into these different contests that they have so um, definitely check it out it is a lot of inspiration a lot of ideas and it's very easily um, it's, it's readable and it's easy to understand um, again if you're an expert and if you're a beginner it's an awesome book so check out the spoon flower handbook the website is spoonflower.com um, sign up for an account it's free so you can even just even if you're not um, brave enough to enter the design contest like me um, you're still able to go and just try it out see what your fabric will look like the first time I ordered from them and it came back I was like I'm looking at my painting and I'm looking at the fabric and I'm looking at my painting and I'm like oh my goodness this is like exactly like exactly to a T so the color was like it was an absolute match so check out the spoon flower handbook I love it um, and uh, hopefully I will enter one of your contests one of these fine days soon but um, definitely check it out all right so thank you very much again for your time and your presence and I appreciate you peace